UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? All right, you ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this sways out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Blocks the shot. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did because I have a line grabbing kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Back to his... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now 
lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, perfect head kick there. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Beautiful kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice head kick. Misses with the right hand. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Two minutes remain in the round. How about that shin? Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Take him down. Calm down. It's okay. Real nice body kick land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. That is, oh man, this dude is good. seconds here of round one. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big leg kick lands. Oh, 
Oh, a huge block there. Going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combination. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch there by Lee. <laughs> Throws the right hand there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. There's no give on that leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Real quick leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Beautiful one. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice body to run him the over. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Gonna set up a knee of his own. Slips the left hand. Nice straight punch. Oh, big head kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice loop and punch. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Spinning back fist is there. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You're cut up good. The ref wants to stop this fight. I need you to show something to protect yourself. Let's get this fight 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him today. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Beautiful strike. with the straight left hand. Beautiful body kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Not there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Blocked the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man, head to land. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Big body kick land. And they separate. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Nice body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Pretty good jab there by Lee. And they separate. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Effective punch there by Lee. Top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. And now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Hey, got to be careful, on bar. There it is. Oh, now he's in trouble. Tonight. All right, right into side control. Up with body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. He's having his way with him here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for very bad. Oh, big left! Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, oh good knee. Round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Jeez Louise. That kick blocked by Lee. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. And now he lands a combination. Nice punch lands over the top. Just missed with the straight left hand. Left hand punch the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just over two minutes to go. Caught that kick there. Nice leg kick land. Knee strike coming, it is blocked. Big body kick. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. Oh, fantastic job. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh!
back at the highlights, you know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Love. In this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.